Hey everyone, so it's Thanksgiving and I wanted to share a quick Thanksgiving message. But you know, I'm English and so I always kind of wonder, are we supposed to join together in celebration about the eradication of various savage practices like human sacrifice? No? Or do we talk about gratitude? Because I've been thinking and these two things can be combined together so well. For example, I am, honestly, really grateful that I don't have to worry about scalpings, you know? I I'm actually quite glad of that. And I think that you probably are too. So you see how well those can be combined? I never see it done, but really we ought to start a trend. Um, and then there are a ton of other things to be grateful for. The last year has been really turbulent uh, for me. There were a lot of changes in my life and some of that kind of was manifest in the set and the way that it changed and the way that I was in different places. If you stuck with me through the, the 70s curtains era, I, I'm really sorry that you had to go through that. I went through it too, but we moved past and we're here now. So uh, thank you for sticking with me through that and putting up with those changes. We have new changes coming, including Christmas changes. I know we're not supposed to mention Christmas yet, but yeah, we're definitely going to go all in on that. So <laughs> good times ahead. Leo, of course, joined the show as the official mascot this year. He would not cooperate with me as I tried to record this. I, I tried multiple times, but he has grown. Uh, he is no longer anything resembling a Yorkie like he was supposed to be. If you remember when I first had him in the live streams, back in like March and he was this teensy little one pound cute thing and now he's this wait, rather massive wait, 18 and a half wait, pound still very cute that teddy way. bear wait. but still not a Yorkie so that happened um, I joined the Catholic Church in April of this year and there were so many graces involved in that and I have enjoyed kind of taking you along on my journey with me through that and I'll continue to do so but Foremost on my mind, of course, is the fact that I got hit by a jeep this year. Which is not the part that I'm grateful for, if you're thinking, kind of wondering. No, but, <laughs> but I am really grateful for all the different people who helped me when I did get hit. Uh, people near and far, uh, who helped me in a lot of different ways, who just kind of pitched in to help how they could. Some of those are watching this show, and I just can't quite say thank you enough for being there for me and helping me in a time when I was very dependent uh, in, in so many different ways because, you know, I broke both my arms. I think the original video I did after I got hit, which was a terrible video in a lot of different ways, but I was telling you guys how I had broken one arm and I was kind of trying to use the other arm because uh, I didn't realize that I had also broken that one. That, <laughs> that injury hadn't yet been, had been found, but it was eventually found and I had the surgery on my right and thanks be to God, everything uh, worked out and I am getting my, my function back and I'm back able to take care of myself. So yeah, thank you. It, like I said, it's been a pretty amazing year for me and I thank those who have shared it with me and been through the different trials with me in different ways. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And let's thank God for all the graces we've received this year. <laughs>